<laughs> A-Hole Productions. Behold the source wall. Behind it is the single greatest secret of the universe. This is as far as I dare to go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Source Wall. And I'm sorry if I sound a little hoarse. Uh, I've been working the past two days, uh, really long days, you know, like nine to 11 hour days out in the sun and the heat, talking pretty much the whole time. Um, that's part of my new job, uh, you know, is that I just, I talk to people and guests and everything. And and sometimes I have to project my voice because there's like other elements like music and things like that. So uh, yeah, I'm going horse and I got to go to work here in a couple hours. And I got home last night. And of course, I was like, oh, right. That DC fandom event was going on. I, I remembered it was coming up and I, I knew it was this weekend, but I was just like, yesterday I went into work and I just wasn't in the headspace of stuff. And so of course, when I get out of work, cause I can't look at my phone pretty much the entire time at my work, unless um, oh, I'm on my lunch break. And when I was on my lunch break, DC fandom hadn't started yet because that's how early I went on lunch yesterday. So the DC fandom event didn't even start. So when I got off work, there was like so many text messages and emails like, dude, did you see this? Did you see this? And I'm like, I didn't read any of them because I'm like, I don't want anyone to spoil anything for me. I wanted to you know, wake up this morning and watch everything. And uh, so I did watch. I watched the Wonder Woman trailer. I watched the Batman trailer. Um, I watched, uh, you know, the Suicide Squad, like behind the scenes thing and the Black Adam teaser and all that stuff. So I will make a video where I talk about all of those things uh, in one video. I'll do that after this. That'll come up next. I'm going to have to record that after work tonight because I don't have enough time to do uh, two or three videos before work. So we're just going to focus on this because this might be a long enough video as it is. This is Gotham Knights, uh, the new Batman game. So as you know, I have I have once again, I watched it and I was like, all right, coincidentally, I'm doing another video and I got my Batman Arkham Origin shirt on. Uh, but I've been playing Batman Ork uh, Arkham Origins on uh, on you know Twitch this week, and it's been so much fun. I love that game. Actually, I think it's pr probably my second favorite Arkham game um, after Arkham uh, City. And it makes sense because they, they share the same map even uh, a little bit, which is kind of a, the one negative critique I have of Arkham Origins. But I might do an, an actual video game review of that and God of War, and I'm going to film them next week because I, I have like three or four days off next week. So I actually got a lot more free time next week. So I will record some video game reviews and put them up on my video game channel. So uh, be on the lookout for that. So this is made from Warner Brothers Montreal, the people who made Arkham Origins. This is their next game. I notice it's just called Gotham Knights. It doesn't say Arkham or anything like that. So now I'm wondering, because there has been rumors, oh, they're making another Arkham game, another you know Batman game. I'm curious to see what exactly this is. So we have a trailer here and we have a gameplay walkthrough. So there's like, a, and that's like an eight minute video. And this is like a five minute trailer. So that's a lot. <laughs> so we're going to, you know, strap in, get your seatbelts on, you know, and let's uh, let's get this started because I don't want to waste any more time. In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Huh. Please bear with us. Just really loud. I like that. The smoke with the it's red and blue police and lights. And now it's all black. Oh, that's cool. discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Discovered a body. The law enforcement of the building has actually collapsed. International news an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. You're now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is a What? Wait, what? Didn't Bruce, like, well, he didn't die, I guess, at the end of Arkham Knight, but they just said a building exploded, and it might be Bruce Wayne's body that they found? Code Black. Whoa. He's old. You're watching this. I'm dead. This is a Code Black. Whoa! Jason? He's got the white... Hair and the uh, was automatic he's got triggered and I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. What? We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Oh, what the hell? Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated. Wow. It has the gear you need and all of my files. That's amazing. Oh, always had my is back that when I needed you. Damien or Tim? I know you'll keep Gotham safe. 
Good luck. And goodbye. Wow. Batman, I mean, he might not really be dead, but that's a great intro for these other characters. Oh, man. All right, Nightwing, Barbara. Oh, whoa. So is that Tim or Damien? And Red Hood. Red Hood. Oh, the map looks cool. So I've been playing... Um, all week I've been putting in these codes on this redacted website and getting parts of the map. So I'll show that after this trailer. Did it say Elliot? That sign in the background, does it say Elliot? Um, if so, that's a Hush reference, maybe. Ooh, Barbara in the purple, she's got like the Burnside outfit, that's nice. I like that costume. I'm such a fan of purple. <laughs> like, <laughs> You can blame Prince for that. And the first Batman movie, which introduced me to Prince. All right, I might have known who Prince was before that, but he did the soundtrack and it was awesome. <laughs> Whoa, man. It's cool, one of the buildings had one of those nameplates on it that looked like Arkham Origins, so there might be some reused assets in this a little bit. Got the different gangs, okay, got to do with the Mohawk. Whoa, gliding through as Barbara Gordon is going to be so awesome. Oh, tag team match. That's cool. Is this? It showed some tag team in there. Can you do two player? That could be fun. This could be a fun online game where I can, you know, play alongside you guys. Mr. Freeze. Wow, that gun's amazing. Wow, Mr. Freeze. Cool. Is that the only major villain we saw in there? Gotham Knights, man. Of course, there's always a, a little tag no at the end. Talks about them. No way! Not a whisper word is said. Oh, man. Court of Owls. Look at them all or frozen. Them. Then, the town strikes you dead. Wow, that's, that's straight from the comic, that little nursery rhyme. Step into the night. So maybe the Court of Owls have something to do with Bruce disappearing? Maybe they even have something to do with Jim's death? Um, whoa, so okay, I wasn't expecting exactly that. I noticed it wasn't called Batman Gotham Knights either. As we were going through the trailer, I'm like, uh, and then once you know Bruce that video popped up that's when it clicked I was like wait is Batman actually like gone or at least he's gone I don't know if he's really dead but he's gone and now the the sidekicks are the and they're not even sidekicks anymore like Barbara and and uh, Nightwing and Jason are kind of off on their own I'm curious if that's Tim Drake or Damien I I mean I love Tim Drake and and I know he was already in the Arkham games so I feel like maybe they'll want to do something new and, and do a different character but I also feel like if it was Damien he would have gotten a more personalized message from Bruce um, as opposed to like a group message um, or he would have tagged something at the end like and Damien you know um, I'll always love you or something like that you know I, f I feel like it would have done that if it was Damien so probably going to be Tim I'm sure more information's out there I'm gonna have to go look it up and maybe we'll find out here in the next video um, but we're, you know, before we get to it, the gameplay walkthrough, uh, these are the, this is the images, the three images that popped up of the map. So there was a website called redacted, but instead of E's for in the word redacted, you replace them with threes. And if you went there all week, starting Wednesday, so it was like, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, it was like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you put in a code each day. Um, I think the first code was seven, six, one. I haven't written them down. I wrote them down here. Uh, seven, six, one was Tuesday's code. Uh, nine, four, one was Wednesday's. 364 was Thursdays and 995 was Friday's code. And if you put those codes in, it, it gave you a teaser of the game. So the first three days were it showed you kind of the map and like, you know, uh, your placement in it and like searching for things. So it kind of gave you a feel for how the map's going to work a little bit. And then the last trailer was just like this little like 17 second video teaser thing. Um, 
so yeah so it was neat it was kind of neat to, and fun to do all that so uh all right so now that we talked about the map we talked about redacted we got the trailer in there now we know kind of what the game's about it's you know about uh the batman family the bat family coming together to uh take down some enemy or solve some kind of mystery maybe the mystery of where bruce is or how he died or what led to that or whatever so now without further ado let's jump into the official gameplay walkthrough and let's learn a little bit more about this game and see some of the gameplay in action because i'm excited to see that all gameplay footage you're about to see was captured from a pre-alpha game build. Okay, so not finished stuff yet, but still working on it. Mr. Freeze. So Mr. Freeze outlives Hi, I'm Patrick Bruce. Redding, creative director on Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, wow. I'm really honored to give you a quick look. Her motorcycle me. looks awesome. Elliot Center is covered in ice. Elliot Center. Whatever's causing this is localized to the top. I'm going to guess that's a reference to the We're Elliot family. A short clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes. Alfred. The Alpha build. Alfred's alive. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Whoa. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. A dozen or so hours into the Batgirl section of the game. Huh. So are there four campaigns? Or is it just like... All units at Elliott Center. Whoa, you can ramp off the ice. Whoa, and then she jumped off her bike. Opening fire on upper floors. That's support, cool. Can you do a fly around? Freeze has recently returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash Freeze the city. The way to get that awesome. The goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player. Oh, Robin showed up. So it has Arkham. Yep. So it's it's using that Arkham engine. Satellite for short-range teleportation. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. This one's louder than the last trailer. Well, that girl has mastered some. More familiar techniques. That's pretty awesome. So it plays like, it looks like I said, kind of looks like reused assets. Some of the um, uh, vans look similar yeah, to vans we've seen before in the Arkham games. Especially Arkham, I mean, I, I jump, I'm near the very end of Arkham Origins right now. I've been playing it for the past three days. So it's pretty fresh in my mind, as, as fresh as in my mind it can get. Um, but this feels very similar. Fun's one word for it. Just a heads up, the chopper's on their orders to fire on anything that moves inside. Oh, that's Montoya. Whoa, so we got GCPD help from Montoya, so she's still around. That's good. I wonder if they'll reference her question years or anything. That'd be cool. Um, I'm loving this Batgirl stuff. This is... Nice. Wow. Look at this map. I mean, it's all been open world, and she's coming right into this frozen building. And that's new textures because they said it's halfway through the level, so that Elliot building pre-frozen exists in the game too. And then they added assets to add the ice, which changes the landscape and where you can interact with. So that's pretty. That was pretty free flowing. The fact that she was on her motorcycle, rode into the city, jumped off her bike, and is able to run up the building. That's, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty awesome. Ooh. If anyone asks, I meant to do that. <laughs> I won't say a word. Is he Red Robin? Tours were still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. Yeah. He chance. He's got a. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach. He's got a, a full-on mask all and the way over his head. And we just switched to him. We're, they're playing as Robin now. Is he Red Robin now? This will only take a second. Yeah. He's full on Red Robin, dude. That is great. That is great. Oh, man. Oh. So is this co-op or can you just like switch between characters with the press of a button? Or he's, oh, he, he says keep him occupied. So he went off to do something. So maybe it's scripted. So is this one player? Like, is this? I, I'm guessing it's a solo adventure, but maybe, maybe there's room for co-op. That'd be great. I mean, I'm all for solo player, story-driven stuff. But if there's some co-op stuff in this, that'd be great too. 
Um, Cause just having Robin and Batgirl there next to each other, it's like fighting Mr. Freeze. It very much reminds me of um, Batman and Robin, the movie Batman and Robin. Although they were fighting Freeze, but then they went and fought Bane, and now went, oh, that'd be cool if Bane is in this. And you have and you have uh, Batgirl. You know, it'd be cool to see Red Hood fight Bane. Actually, I've seen Batgirl and Robin fight Bane. I want to see Red Hood fight Bane. Not the safest time to take the elevator. Yeah, similar sound effects I noticed. I'm, I'm hearing the grapple gun. Uh, the climbing, though, that sounds new with the fingers into the. Guaranteed they leave the freeze. This is a nice looking demo. I gotta say, it's really nice looking. Oh, squeeze into the ice. You can hear the. the Still falling. Dang, so what's Freeze up to? Why is he so desperate? Um, is he on the verge of curing Nora, or is Nora cured already and she doesn't want him, and maybe this is him lashing out because she doesn't want to be with him um, after he saves her or something? I don't know. I see the weather machine. Whoa. Ready with the weather machine? That thing's drawing so much power. That'd be cool if Weather Wizard helped him build that, helped Freeze build that. That'd be cool. But Mr. Freeze is a brilliant scientist, too, so I guess he could have done it himself. Although I don't know if he his research was in meteorology or anything like that. But build his rockets in place. Semantics. It's charging. In comics and fiction, if you're a scientist in one field, I guess you're a scientist in all fields. Whoa! Jetpack Freeze! Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? He looks great. You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off. Trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. Whoa. That gun is awesome. The storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. We'll see about that. So what does he want? Oh, wow. Whoa, he's got... He took hit points. Oh, so that, now that I think about it, I think some of the guards downstairs did too. Important element of Gotham Knights is that's that pretty neat. Player increases in power and ability. So you can see how much damage you're doing. That's cool. So confronting a villain. Kind of RPG-ish, but I like it. Proposition at level five. It's like um, Kingdom Hearts, where you're like running around smacking things with your giant staff, key. But in kinds of <laughs> attacks and defenses, they bring to bear. And that was just a short peek at Gotham Knights. We're going to have more to show you in the future. Oh, and then you got to, like, platforming style, you got to, like, run around, dodge the lasers. All right. It's coming 2021. They said um, there's going to be more stuff they'll show in the near future, maybe. Um, but this was just a peek of it. Uh, I got to say, I think it looks neat. I think it really does. I'll have to go and look for more information online and, uh, and you know, kind of catch up on any other articles or news things that they put out there. And if you have any thoughts on the trailer or the gameplay, let me know down below. The gameplay looks solid. I mean, it looks like an Arkham game to an extent. Uh, that's good. Uh, it looks like an Arkham game made by the Montreal Warner Brothers group, though, which is fine by me because, like I said, I like Arkham Origins. Like, I, that's my second favorite Batman game. I love uh, Arkham City is the top. Arkham Origins is a, a very close second, actually. Um, and Arkham Asylum is a very close third. Arkham Knight is a distant fourth. I'm not uh, super into Arkham Knight that much. Like, even though it had Red Hood in it and it had featured Jason and stuff, like, it just didn't, there were some things I thought they could have done better. The gameplay itself was a lot of fun and the stuff with Joker being in Batman's head, I actually ended up liking that. I was like, wow, we actually get a Batman game without Joker. And then he shows up and I'm like, uh, but then some of the other villains in the game, uh, like, uh, you know, I can't remember who all the other villains were because, oh, it was uh, Jonathan Crane. Um, even though I like the voice actor they got to come in and play Scarecrow, uh, I just thought Scarecrow and Red Hood were kind of, they, they didn't really do it for me in that game. So it felt like it was nice to get Joker back because I was like, wow, I'm not a big Joker guy. I actually, I feel like he's so overused and, but there are reasons why though, he's effective. And so when, when he's inside Bruce's mind, I'm like, Okay, that's kind of neat. And uh, and a little, I don't know if Scott Snyder played Arkham Knight, but that feels like an uh, maybe a an impetus for Batman Who Laughs, which is like, you know, the he's a main character now in the comic books, uh, you know, and he's he's part of the metal and death metal storyline. But he's a character that's uh, 
a, basically a Batman infected by Joker gas. And then he's like half Joker, half Batman or something. So I'm like, oh, that was like Arkham Knight was kind of introducing that uh, kind of thing too. Gameplay wise, what did you think? I thought it looked cool. It looks fun. looks like an Arkham game, but I like that they dropped the Arkham title and they're just kind of leaving it. It seems like its own universe where Bruce actually ages and grows older. Jason looks a little older. He's got the scar on him, which is interesting. Uh, uh, Dick Grayson looks a little older. And what I would really love if by the end of this game, one of these characters becomes the new bat person that protects Gotham, whether Batgirl decides to become Batwoman. Um, I know that's not how it works in the comics, but I'm just, you know, it's a new, it's a game. It's a new universe. Um, and then, or like if, if, uh, you know, Red Robin, Red Hood, or, uh, Dick, uh, Dick Grayson step up and become Batman at the end. That'd be pretty neat. Actually, that could be, that could launch this into a new franchise of games where you could play uh, Dick Grayson Batman for a game or two. Like I would be really into that. <laughs> and now as the clouds cover the sun again uh, and mess up my lighting, I am going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, let your thoughts be known down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.